Hi, Mickey. How are you doing? How are you doing, Mickey? Yeah? Who's coming up here? Hi, Maddie. How are you doing, Maddie? Doing good? What are you doing? Huh? Yeah, how are you doing, Maddie? Mickey also loves the... Oh, well, how I pet her. Yeah, 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 yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will you go outside later, Ma Maddie? I know. I'm taking you out for a walk later, okay, Maddie? I hope everyone's having a good day. Mickey, you have a good day too? Hey, Mickey's right here. You see the size comparison? Mickey is officially went to the vet um, last week. She weighed in at 12 and a half pounds. Maddie is around, I believe, 45, 45 to 50 pounds. But uh, yeah, they're both 
uh, incredibly healthy. Very healthy. Mickey's came in with her tests, and um, yeah, Mickey's doing well. Very healthy. She's at her her body weight average. And then same thing with Maddie. Maybe a little bit on the weight, but otherwise, I think she she's perfectly healthy though. Uh, you know, she plays normal and everything else. So, which is good. Mickey just wants to play. You just want to play, Mickey? Huh? You just want to play? Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is your little baby toy. You have this toy since you're a baby, Mickey. Did you know that? Good job. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Mickey's diet. What's her day to day uh, diet plan? What she eats uh, on a daily basis? We're gonna be focusing on that, uh, her nutritional value, and what kind of supplements, uh, what kind of probiotics that we actually use for Mickey in general for her you know, daily health. So uh, stay tuned for that. Do you see how banged up this Tucker toy is? It's even calm. Had it since eight weeks old, Mickey. Do you realize that? Eight weeks old to now. She doesn't let this go, right? So she has plenty of toys. Plenty of toys. Some toys, like Mr. Ted, she doesn't even mess with it no more. Um, the little porcupine she does. You know, the rice ball she does. The dumpling she plays with often, but nothing beats this. Like I think she realized that her scent, her her you know her smell is all is all in here. I bet this is quite dirty. It does need a wash, but this is one toy she will play with all time and not get bored. No matter how beat up this is, right, Mickey? You love this toy, don't you? I want to throw this away. This is so beat up, but I think she'll be so sad if that happens, right, Mickey? You gotta have it, right? Okay. There you go, see? There's one toy that she can't let go. She gotta have that toy. So, Mickey's diet consists of chicken and barley uh, from Hill Science Diet we also have the beef and barley from Hill Science Diet usually what we do is we'll feed her one can of uh, Hill Science Diet uh, for Mickey uh, one can uh, is good for three days because we do feed her half dog food and also half uh, human food so in the morning or at night, doesn't matter which time, as long as she, she gets it, we'll feed her uh, one there of this. And then the other part will be human food, which, whatever, which is chicken. And then once this is done, we'll switch it back to beef and barley. So we'll go back and forth, back and forth with these two cans. And then too, so that way she doesn't get too bored of it or anything. But yeah, we, we use this on a regular basis. And uh, this is what our, our vet, recommended too and she likes it she loves the food and she doesn't get bored of it and the the trick is to put the food in the microwave pop in the microwave because then the wet food brings out a more stronger aroma that gets her going and improves her appetite more so if you plan on feeding Mickey uh, your dog uh, canned food even even um, regular food, like a dry food, as far as the dry food is concerned, we have this right here. This is a dry food. Uh, this is Hill Science as well too. Uh, lamb meal and brown rice. So this is the kibbles, right? So what we do is we do a uh, one third of the wet food and then we'll do like, um, 
I say like a quarter cup, a quarter cup or half cup, depending on how big your, your, your dog is. Uh, and then what we what we do is we grind up the, uh, the kibbles into smaller pieces. So it looks like this right here. The reason why we grind it up is because Mickey tends to choke often on her food. Yeah, she's she doesn't really chew good enough and uh, quite some time she tends to choke on her food, which is scary, scary moment. So what we do is we grind it up with this, mix it together, put a little water inside to hydrate it, pop it in the microwave. That's the best way to do it. If your dog doesn't choke on food, don't need to grind it up then. Just mix that with this wet food and dry food, add a little water to it, hydrate it, pop it in the microwave for like 20 seconds, 25 seconds. That works out too. Sometimes we'll do feed her some savory stew with chicken and vegetables as well too. This is perfect if you are on the run. You don't uh, just peel out, put it in the plate, pop in the microwave a little bit, 10 seconds. You have yourself a meal for her. And uh, Mickey loves this as well too. This is actually a lot more expensive than the wet food and the dog food, but this is really convenient. If you're traveling or you're out and you want something quick for her to eat, it's just convenient. It's already prepacked and ready. This is what we have here for emergency purposes, or we actually use it too on a daily routine. Um, food Authority is actually a pumpkin puree. And you guys know that pumpkin puree is a very important um, probiotic. It's great for their digestive support. And if you're sometimes if your dog has running stool and her poop is kind of slimy or wet or doesn't look right, add pumpkin puree into her wet food or dry food to firm the stools again. And we have this in handy in case Mickey has a uh, upset stomach, which she doesn't have often. But she, you know, once in a while she does run through, um, you know, a upset stomach. She could have found something outside, or she could have found something on the ground accidentally ate it. That made her up stomach upset. And we do have instances of uh, yeah, she has had that already before. This is a lifesaver. This is very important. Pumpkin puree. Just take a little scoop of that, a little teaspoon of that, mix into her dry food, which helps a lot too. One product that we do use every so often, uh, if it's like the last resort, last resort, okay, if she has, if Mickey ever has diarrhea and it's really bad and you want to stop it on this track, Fortiflora by Purina. This stuff is a miracle, it's a miracle uh, supplement and it comes in these packages right here, little packages, okay, so basically it's a, it's a powder. And you mix it in their food like one packet per day maybe half packet per meal right or if it's two meals a day you just mix it in her food and um, it helps uh, grow good bacteria again into Mickey's stomach and that way their stool will be getting back to normal slowly slowly if there's an episode where she has a diarrhea and you don't know what to do this is a perfect idea too uh, of course, I try with. I will try to do the uh, pumpkin puree first. Pumpkin puree, since it's you know it's loaded with fiber, right? See if the the, the stool will not will firm up. If it doesn't work, you can go with Plan B. And if all else fails, then the diarrhea is a bigger issue. Then that means you you need to take her to the vet as soon as possible. I mean, this is something you probably do the first day, second day, if it doesn't work. And then on the third day, if it's still the same, I would say just take her to the bed right away. Because it, it, could, it could be a bigger issue. Because that time, she'll probably be dehydrated from diarrhea or any such in, in, in instance. What about Mickey's human food? Let's check inside. Remember, uh, dog's diet, you need to have a protein, you need to have a carb, and veggies, 
So mix it up. A little bit of everything so she has a balanced meal because with these meals, um, since there's no additional nutrients for her, just like dog food is, you're gonna need to add a, uh, a supplement, right? A supplement to help with the, the diet too. All right, and this is what we have here is the Mickey section of human food. Of course, some of this stuff right here, we actually use too in our cooking too, but and we also use it for Mickey as well too. So we, we actually share. So we have uh, little cabinets, like we have these little containers here. And then, uh, so we have our protein. Uh, this is like some beef that we actually made, a uh, ground beef. So if you ever feed your dog ground beef, uh, make sure it's the leanest meat possible, which is kind of like 97%. Uh, leaner the better, which is a lot more safe, less fatty. This is the um, chicken breast. Uh, chicken breast, which I, I cut up and into chunks. And this we have here is like um, squash. Now remember that squash is a great fiber for your dog. And squash is in the same family as pumpkin, right? So we do give Mickey some pumpkin squash as part of her uh, fiber. So that way her poop comes out really nice. And we also have some uh, ground chicken. Ground chicken, a mixture is uh, organic chicken chicken breast. Um, if you can't find ground chicken uh, organically, you can uh, tell the butcher, grab, grab yourself some organic chicken and tell the butcher to to ground it up and that way yeah they're willing to do that if you have a problem with that of course that's all the protein stuff like that too right we have uh, green beans green beans are very safe for dogs uh, a few bags of those we grab these at the, the local grocery store frozen frozen vegetables frozen green beans since it's very convenient these I have to of course do it myself I chopped up my already myself um, the squash is I bought fresh and I just chopped everything myself and then I just put it in the freezer That's why this is a package definitely and then of course we have here. It's a sweet potato Sweet potato that I chopped up too and then put in the freezer and We have here is like some peas. Peas is great for Mickey um, Yeah, of course there's some butternut squash, which is in case I ran out of this I, I can use this as well too as a backup plan and then uh, there's actually some frozen potatoes. And we have here some frozen carrots. Frozen carrots. That's good too. One of Mickey's favorite is uh, we use, it's, a, it's called a, uh, a root blend, right? Beets, carrots, parsnips, uh, and sweet potatoes. So it's a combination uh, package from a company called Great Value. Uh, every, every once in a while, yeah, we give us a little bit of beets and parsnips and carrots and Mickey loves it. Um, nothing wrong with veggies, healthy healthy food in general. And then this is just some stuff that you see what I give to Mickey, either lunch or dinner. And of course, like, yeah, this is just all pre-packaged and everything too. So it's a lot of routine that we do to keep Mickey healthy as possible. And uh, usually how we cook it, we just grab a pan, um, water, and just cook it till the water boils. And then we put everything together into the hot boiling water. Once it, once it turns into a hot and boils, set your timer to eight minutes, have it cook for eight minutes. Eight minutes is good. Everything will be nice and soft and cooked. Well done. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. No, don't pan fry, don't use oil. Uh, if you do decide to use oil, I think for my heart, um, coconut oil, coconut oil, possibly. You can use that coconut oil if you want to. A little bit of coconut oil, I heard safe for dogs. Um, might do that in the future. Um, little coconut oil in a pan, and just kind of cook the vegetables with it. Uh, I haven't really done it yet, since boiling the boiling, it seems to be a lot safer and healthier in general, right? But the hair coconut oil is also pretty safe for dogs too. So we might do that, do that in the future. But for now, everything is boiled and uh, cooked perfectly and Mickey loves it. She loves the food. She always goes crazy for it too. So yeah, that's just part of her human meal. So this is our everyday use. 
these two right here it's in her diet every single day burning is perfect poop this is her probiotic okay which is good for fiber prebiotics probiotics and enzymes so what we do is we add like a, a little small scoop of this into her wet and dry food we, we mix it up and this is a great product i've been using this for a year now it helps reduce gas stool order and bad breath improves stool quality and firmness enhances your dog's healthy immune system and overall health so like i said before it's a great product that we use um <clears throat> this is a cheese flavor and the idea they also have i think a chicken flavor uh basically there's there's uh, uh, instructions in the back how to use it now now i do want to say that this is not probably not for everybody um some the the reviews say that some people works very well but some dogs doesn't really work i think it really depends on your dog your dog's current health but um we seen amazing results with this and um, it, it may take like a few days or it may take a week or two to see results right away it, it doesn't work right away it has to take some time so um yeah this is a very perfect poop uh, great product as well too and with all the stuff here that you see i will be linking it down to the description down below i'll leave a link in the description all you do is I click click on the description down below and then uh, i will link everything that you see here if you're interested in purchasing these products uh, i'll have a link for it too and of course i had this question for melanie um she did ask like what's our dog's daily supplement uh, if we could share and i'm gonna share right now icosa caps or ecosa caps i don't know how to pronounce it but uh, this one has uh, omega-3 six capsules and uh this is what we use this is actually what our vet recommended on her daily diet uh mainly it's more about the sunflower oil and the fish oil that's the, probably the most important thing and uh you put one capsule and we mix it in her food you can either feed it by mouth or put the capsule and push it into her wet food oh like we do we make little meatballs and we just stuff the pill into the meatball and hopefully she just eats it and so far so good mickey is a great at eating the pill so we don't have a problem with that uh, she just eats it on her own right this one is more for uh skin right this is more about the skin and the fur if you want healthy skin healthy fur we use this and of course we use the probiotic that we put in her food this this we give every day this one we give once every other day so this is not every day this is every other day this is daily so uh yeah this is what we use for her overall routine and uh of course like um yeah so this is all her little treats of course like uh, we have whimsies whimsies is also what, uh, what we use too uh to clean her her teeth so <coughs> fresh and breaths um we've been using this now and we don't give it to uh, they say to give it to her every daily but uh we give it to her like every few days because we do notice that this stuff just give mickey a little bit gas so but that's uh, that's only because mickey's not used to it yet this, this is recently we just started using whimsies heard lots of good reviews about it um but you still even though it cleans teeth and all that stuff too you still need to brush your dog's teeth in general and of course like um natural balance treats that's why we give her two for the little treats here and there another product we, product we use is uh, simply nourish salmon jerkies a uh, little treats for that too we also have another bag of the natural balance treats this one is brown rice and lamb i found out, I found out mickey loves lamb in general this is one product that i thought about using but and haven't used it yet the um I early in life I gave this to Mickey um, from the Sassy Paws. I haven't even opened it yet. I I think I might get, just give this away. I'm not sure because I, I don't want to mix too many products, right? I don't want to mix too many products. That's why this never been opened. 
so I'm probably gonna give this to somebody that might use it. But uh, Jetsy Paws, immune system support, gut health, seasonal allergies, probiotics, salmon oil. See, I'm already using that already, so I have ESO caps and I have the burning spectrum poop, so there's no reason to use this. You can't mix stuff so much, so it's better to stay safe and just not use it in general. Important sticks is the earth animals. No, no hide. These are great bully stick treats that the Mickey loves that we give often. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much what Mickey eats in general. And uh, I hope you guys uh, will find this information very useful. And like I said before, if you find any of these items that you think you might use, I'll put a link in the description down below. All you have to do is go down, scroll down, and click on the description box, and you'll see the whole entire link of all the stuff that uh, I posted up for Mickey. And uh, if you like, if you see interested, just click on it, and then I'll, I'll link you to Amazon right away. So yeah, all right, Mickey. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Mickey. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, informational. Uh, video and I hope that we're able to help everyone that has questions regarding uh, what we do Mickey and hopefully it helps you and uh, Yep, see you guys on the next episode. Thank you. Wanna say hi? Yeah, hi Yeah Goodbye